Good evening, guys. It is Thursday, January 23rd. I feel like the past few vlogs that we've done, like I'm having to clean up <clears throat> this office, and um, today's no exception. Uh, one of the things that you don't see is the cleanup stages of what was a video. So the last video we uploaded, uh, definitely check it out. It's um, kind of looking at my kit for weddings, uh, backpack and and then also my roller bag. Um, but uh, we've got to uh, we got to pick up from our thumbnail. But then we also have to pick up. Uh, we had a Nerf battle fight uh, just this this evening. So basically, the other thing that has to get cleaned up is part of the desk. Uh, anything that didn't go into the thumbnail. Um, pretty much went on my desk and all that's got to go back into my backpack um, for storage purposes. Uh, one of the things that we're actually thinking about doing is over here. So one of the things that we're thinking of doing since we have all this equipment between Amanda and I, we really don't want to store it in our bags all the time. Um, we've actually this, this shelf right here, um, the case actually holds all of our DVDs. Uh, we're going to take all those DVDs out, um, cases out, we're going to put all the DVDs in, in an actual like binder and s basically just store, and then we're just going to store the actual cases themselves up in the attic. There's no reason for it. They take up so much room. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get, kind of like we used to have, we used to have a bookshelf here with Eli, all of Eli's books. So instead we're going to put a shelf there, there's an Ikea one, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I don't know, but it's got like glass doors and there's like shelves or whatever. Um, and basically what we'll do is we'll store all of our camera equipment in there. We can kind of display it. It'll look really nice. Um, it's kind of like a dark navy blue. So it's not going to, they don't have it in black. So it's not going to match anything we have in here. But it is blue. So it will match, you know, still continue with that theme in the room. Um, so that's something that we're looking at doing down the line. Um, so kind of looking forward to that because you know having to store all this stuff in like the actual backpack just kind of sucks because if you want to get to something or you want to you know you can't it's hard to, it's hard to take anything anywhere uh, because everything's in the backpack so you have to either take all of it or just take like the, the camera set up as is so it kind of makes vlogging taking the camera out um, it makes it challenging it doesn't make it impossible but um, it would be nice to be able to take the camera, not fully, you know, microphone and gorilla pod and all that stuff. It would be nice to be able to break it down, put it in a backpack, and then take it somewhere, set it back up, vlog, and then you're good to go. Rather than taking it as, in its current form to that place and vlogging all together. So it would just be nice. It would just be nice. And then storing all the equipment and all that would be great. So anyway, I babbled on long enough. Let's go ahead and roll the intro, uh, get some cleaning up going on. And um, we need to uh, kind of look at uh, what we got going on for the rest of the week and um, see if we uh, succeeded this weekend. Let's get it. So, one thing you might have noticed, still, still cleaning. <clears throat> one of the things you might have noticed when um, when I uploaded the last video is the thumbnail was a little different, and I'm starting to think that I want to be a little more creative with the actual thumbnails that I make. <clears throat> this was kind of the first step in that process, kind of breaking that uh, tradition where. I would have my logo and have like the daily vlog or the title of the video or or something you know or something on the actual thumbnail and I got to think I was like you know is that is it really necessary to have that um, in the actual thumbnail as well because you know they've got the picture or they've got the the actual title and that's you know that's got what the video is and and I really just wasn't satisfied because I was looking at my page and like everything had that same stamp up in the left hand corner, graphics sauce media, and then this, and then a line of text here. The you know the thumbnails were, you know, the pictures in the thumbnails, they were they were interesting and you know I tried to do my best to kind of portray what the actual video was about, but I feel like having the logo and like the this official looking title set up here and like I just didn't feel like it was creative enough. So 
I'm going to break that mold. You're going to see a little bit different thumbnails for me going forward. Uh, I'm not going to have the logo in there. Um, gonna, you might see some that have text and some that are just pictured like the ones that we had for this last one with the uh, wedding, uh, the wedding day um, bag. Um, where it makes sense, right? And I did tool around with a little bit of the uh, text and titling inside of that thumbnail, inside of that picture, but nothing looked good, right? I didn't, you know, had I taken a picture that was slightly off to the right, I could probably have fit text in there or whatever, but actually, to tell you, to tell you the truth, having, you know, having all that stuff kind of spaced out and pieced in, in specific places, it's very methodical, and I didn't want to, you know, ruin that feeling or ruin that, you know, vibe with throwing a text block over top of it. So you're definitely going to see a change in the thumbnails. Some of them will have text, some of them won't. Just kind of what I'm feeling that day and for that video, what makes sense. So let's keep working. I don't know about you, like if you if you grew up with Nerf at all, any type of Nerf guns or anything like that, or Nerf blasters as they're called now. Um, you knew that they were pretty limited like when they first started out. They were very much, you know, pull this back, spring, shoot the dart, reload it, stuff like that. Nerf has come a significant long way. Um, for instance, this this is my son's. This is called the Infamous. Um, it's got a 30 round drum, first of all. 30 Nerf darts right here. It loads into here. It's an, it's an automatic weapon, so you hold the trigger down and it just starts spewing out foam. The other, the cool thing about this one though, is you can take your darts and there's a little access point right here. You just stick it in and it loads into the drum. And then you're just ready to, just ready to go. It's really kind of a fascinating piece of equipment. Like, I have to admit, it's pretty cool. So, so one of the things that kind of sucks about recording a vlog and releasing it on Friday, especially when you're using that vlog to uh, kind of hold yourself accountable like we are with this one, um, it mean, basically means that my work week is Monday through Thursday and I don't get Friday. Um, so this is going to be, I'm kind of struggling with this a little bit. I'm still going to carry through, but I'm going to do some recording tomorrow. We've got some editing to do tonight. Um, it's about, it's about 10, it's about 10 o'clock right now. So we've probably got about a good two, two and a half hours worth of editing we can do, um, on a wedding video. So we're going to kind of crank out as much as we possibly can. And then tomorrow I've got a little bit of time uh, before we've got some company coming over. So I'll be working a little bit more on there. So one of the downfalls of recording and releasing a vlog for Friday that's supposed to recap everything that happened throughout the week is the fact that you're losing that day, Friday, to actually complete some of that work. Um, so with that being said, we've got about two and a half, two hours left tonight to actually get some editing done, to get some work on the actual projects that we had set out to do. So we're going to go ahead and get, take care of that right now. Um, and then tomorrow we'll get some more work done um, and uh, we'll put it all together. And so let's, um, we'll see how it goes. So let's get to editing. All right, guys, it is Friday morning. We made it to the weekend. Um, just getting ready to sit down and get some work done uh, for the hospital. I uh, gotta take Eli to school real quick, um, but we've got a pretty good setup going on. We've got Amanda's laptop set up uh, so we can finish uh, Lacey and Andrew's wedding ceremony. So that'll be wedding number two. We finished uh, Matthew and Taylor's wedding ceremony last night. Ching, so there's our two. And then tonight, we're gonna be working on those four teaser trailers. So if we can knock those four out and the uh, actual ceremony for Lacey and Andrew today, sometime during lunch and things like that, we can check that off our list. So let's uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, so it's Saturday morning. I uh, figured I'd go ahead and do the traditional, you know, rundown of how the week went. Um, this is kind of the thing I'm talking about where, like, I record the vlog that re supposed to release on Friday, record that on Thursday, and therefore I don't have... You know, I lose a whole day, maybe even half a day, a day and a half, because I got to shoot the vlog and release it on Friday. So we might consider switching this actual like review the week type of vlog to Saturday. 
Um, just because then I can get the full week um, and then I can record the vlog on Saturday and, you know, let you know kind of where we're at and if, you know, things got pushed back, if things got finished, things like that. So, so the first thing we wanted to complete this week uh, was client work. Uh, we set our sights on two ceremony videos and four teaser trailers. Um, happy to announce that we completed both of those tasks. Um, the uh, rendering is the only thing that's left to do, and I usually do that at night because it can take a little while. Um, and it kind of take it basically it turns the computer off, makes the computer useless for a little while. So, um, so basically we'll just queue up all of the actual renders, render them overnight, and then we'll upload them tomorrow on Sunday. So, so we can go ahead and check off client work. So that makes me feel good. Uh, one of the things that we set out this week and it was, you know, it was, I mean, it was extra important because we didn't get anything done last week or we got very minimal done last week when it comes to client work. So being able to, you know, kind of catch up and get back to where we were supposed to be this week is a big deal. Uh, next week, um, it's going to be the same type of thing. We're going to try and crank out a couple extra ceremony videos and a couple teasers. And I think we should just have to do one more round of those and then we'll be caught up with ceremony and teaser trailers for the remainder of 2019. So the other thing that we had on our list uh, this week was to design a website. And this was strictly like putting pencil to paper, uh, working just on the layout of the actual website. Um, a little bit of functionality and kind of where we wanted things to flow and what types of pages we wanted and stuff like that. So um, I'm really excited with the way we're the steps so I'm really excited with the steps that we were able to accomplish this week. We've kind of got a basic layout of what I'm looking at. Uh, pages are set up. Uh, what types of information is going to go on which page. So for the website, I've decided to go with more of a minimalist type of look. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of copy, uh, tons and tons of paragraphs and things like that. There is going to be a gallery of you know a combination of stills and actual video clips and things like that. Um, and like I said, it's good. I'm going to go for a very minimalist approach and see how I can do and really the copy that I do have and the paragraphs that I do include on the website, I want to make those as powerful and as descriptive as I can while still keeping them as few, you know, I don't want to have a page of text essentially because, you know, everyone's using their phones nowadays to search these different photographers and videographers and these different vendors and having a wall of text really isn't going to, you know, isn't going to suit a website well at all. So like I said, I'm going to go for a very minimalist type of look. Um, I'm excited for what, you know, what we accomplished. We still have a long way to go, but those first steps have been taken and, you know, let's, and let's be honest, it's going to be an ever evolving thing. So, you know, these first few steps, while they're important, you know, this thing can evolve over time. So then the other thing that we wanted to complete this week was the video upload for the channel. Uh, what's in my wedding bag. Uh, and that was a success. Um, turned out really well. Uh, one of the things that I wished we would have taken a little bit more time on was actually getting some B-roll of the individual items themselves. Um, unfortunately, we just ran out of time uh, on the shooting process, so we went ahead and just uh, shipped it as is. Um, I think going forward, we'll probably leave a little bit extra time for filming uh, the actual B-roll and like the close-ups and things like that of the individual item. So uh, the next time we do one of those actual videos, that's going to be a change that we're going to see for sure. So other than that, I was really pleased with how the, the video went. You know, if, uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, there'll be a link in the description or it's the last, the previous video that we uploaded. Um, but we went over like everything that's in my camera bag and then also everything that's in our roller case as well um, to kind of give you an idea on what I take with me on my actual wedding uh, shoots. Anyway, so that, you know, those were the three things that we set out to do, and uh, we accomplished all three of them, so I feel like this week was a successful week. But wait, there's more. So I'm really excited. One of the additional things that we accomplished this week was actually something back in what I learned in 2019. Uh, I did a video on that. One of those items on that list was being able to track where I have my, you know, clients at in the process, and... I think we talked a little bit about it, but uh, I felt like that's one of the things that I could improve in 2019 was that that process, right? Taking a client from taking a potential client from early conversations, whether that's text message, online communication, email, and bringing them into a phone call, bringing them into a contract shipped, and then bringing them into a paid client, and so on and so forth. Where you know, in tracking that for every client or potential client that I have. You know, we don't have a process for that. And so I developed a Excel document um, 
So just a little tidbit about me, I really, really like Excel. Um, if I could put everything in Excel, I would. Uh, but at any rate, um, I made, an, I created an Excel document that basically has a, it's like a seven step process uh, from getting a, a potential client from early conversation, like I said, all the way up until, you know, paying their final payment or whatever. So um, I got, uh, I set this up. Uh, on on the computer basically highlighting when things happen hasn't happened yet and then if it hasn't happened like a police to kind of like write a note like okay you know sent an email uh, for a phone conversation haven't heard back yet right so that all that information will be right there so I can kind of see when that conversation happened online how long it's been and the next step in this process is setting up some type of reminder system. So we've got the process and the system in place for tracking this stuff, but it doesn't do me any good if I don't open up that actual document and say, okay, hey, I haven't heard from this person in three days. Maybe I should contact them. The next step in this evolution is putting that stuff into the computer, but while I'm doing that, setting up a reminder either through Google or through uh, my phone or my calendar or whatever, setting up a reminder to contact that person in 24 hours or in 48 hours, 72 hours, whatever the case may be with their contact information. Again, this can all be accomplished with a client management software system or client management system, whatever you want to call it. But there's a monthly fee for that. Whereas with this way, it's a little bit more work, a little bit more time consuming, but it's free. And when you're first starting out, you know, keeping your bottom line as, as low as possible, means that's the more that's more money that you're going to bring home per shoot. So again, this is probably going to be something that evolves over time, but I've got the document created, I uh, put in the last I think 35 to 40 clients or potential clients that I've talked to, kind of where filled out where they're at in the process. So we really have to just kind of fine tune it and figure out that reminder system, but other than that, we got it accomplished. We we set out to do this, you know, learn from 2019 we've executed on one of those issues that we took you know that we recognized and we put something together so now we just kind of like i said just got to fine tune it so that's so that's the first thing that we accomplished that wasn't on our list the second thing that we accomplished that is uh kind of like a bonus item is uh we we scheduled three phone calls for this weekend uh we've already had one this morning it went really really well um i'm, I'm excited to to get this uh to work to get to this client. Uh, she was great over the phone. Um, she really has an idea of what she's looking for uh, with her with her uh, wedding films. And uh, I think the phone conversation went really well. Uh, we've got a contract to put together and a few extra pieces of portfolio work to send over to her later tonight. Um, so we'll get that put together and kind of send off. Uh, the other two phone calls we got set up uh, for this weekend, I'm really excited, uh, you know, to get a little bit more opportunity to speak with people. And so I'm kind of looking forward to kind of putting my advice, you know, that I put out on my channel to work. So um, again, these are some of the first clients, uh, phone calls that I've had for 2020. Um, the uh, the actual ceremony or the the actual day of the events, you know, kind of range. There's, I think two of, uh, two of them were for 2020, the other ones for 2021. So um, again, just, it's great to have these set up and, you know, potential clients calling in, actually setting up the phone call. If you've, um, if you run a small business, you know, getting that person to go from an online conversation, like whether it's email or text message or, or instant message or whatever, getting them to go from that to an actual phone call where you can, can control the conversation and kind of help guide it along and, you know, really answer questions and, you know, gain an understanding and a feel for an individual. It really, it goes a long way. It really does. So yeah, so I was excited that we set up those three phone calls. It works out really well and um, hopefully we can book, uh, book them. So again, you got to set your expectations. You're not always going to be 100%. So I'm hoping that we can book one of the three. So we'll see. Um, so that was this week. Um, overall, I think uh, it was a huge success. Uh, we marked off the three main things that we set out to do and then we also completed two tasks that weren't on those lists and you know it was a huge push forward for the business and hopefully we uh we can see some fruit of that labor so all right guys so that's the end of the video i really appreciate you watching if you enjoy the content make sure you give us a like consider subscribing for more of the uh this type of content where we look at what we can do to be a have a successful week and then kind of review later on in the week in a vlog style kind of 
did we make it or not? Was it a great week? Did, did we miss the ball? What's got what's got to change? Things like that. Kind of self-evaluation. So uh, like I said, go ahead and leave us a like if you enjoy the content. Consider subscribing. Um, and if you're feeling a little bit extra love, go ahead and share it out on your uh, favorite uh, social media website. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.